Hello, Poppet. We have returned to Buffy, and it is still comfy sweater o'clock. My mom bought me this sweater. We were out shopping one day, saw that, and she's like, oh, that's so you. And I love it. It's cool. It? Okay, so last episode was uh, interesting. It was very interesting. I love the, you know, the the exploration of, of a what if. You know, I'm all about what ifs. You know, I've only been reading fan fiction since circa 2000, so I'm, I'm all about what ifs. But uh, before we move on to what will be in the next episode, let's take care of uh, any announcements. So go ahead, uh, future hot mess Kristen. Hey, it's me, future hot mess Kristen, and apparently it has the audacity to snow and rain at the same time. I just wanted to share with you all the new art piece, which will be available uh, in the coming days in the store. But first, I've got a little poll going on on the uh, the community page. Um, so if you'll just hop over there on my channel uh, to vote. I couldn't decide if whether I'd like it better as a puzzle or uh, one of those like plush throw blankets. Um, it will be available as a print as well. I just couldn't figure out like what the secondary uh, item should be. So I'm going to leave that up to you for you guys to vote on. It is a uh, Art Nouveau piece of uh, spike against a background that I spent a great deal of time on. I am very proud of myself because I have never done this art style before. And I think it looks beautiful. Speaking of the store, in the coming days, I am going to be culling the products that are available uh, at the uh, on the store because uh, I feel that it's there. There's too much on there. Um, I got carried away on a few things, and there's there's a few designs on there that I'm kind of eh about. So, um, starting. Uh, yeah, starting this week, I'm going to start getting rid of some stuff. Um, I'll have a date put right here to let you know, like, when uh, when the new store will be, uh, you know, released. It'll be the date that, um, that the new uh, product, the Spike Drawing, will be available uh, for uh, purchase. Also, just curious, if you're watching this point of the video, could you do me a favor? Like, um... Say, say what your favorite color is in the comments. I'm curious to see, like, who actually watches this part. Okay, here we go. This episode is called Amends. Okay, um, who's, who's making amends? So I imagine whatever this is, is centered around, you know, the implosion that happened with uh, Oz and Cordelia and Xander and Willow. Which I... I genuinely don't think Oz is going to take Willow back. Like, I'm shooting my shot now. I don't think Oz is going to take Willow back. The his, his trust got broken. And he's... He's such a... Like, he's got so much to him that, like... Honestly, I kind of hope that he doesn't take her back. Not to say I don't still love Willow. I'm just, I'm just so disappointed in her. I really am. And I hope she, you know, learns and grows from this. Delia, I I hope she's able to heal from this in a in a way that's healthy. Xander, we've taken three steps back with you know my my feelings for Xander. You know, first I hated him. You know, obnoxious teenage boy with uh, some very gross feelings in regards to women, and then you know he was growing on me. He was showing that hey, you know, no matter what. He's a loyal friend. He he will be there for you in a pinch. You know, when you really need him, he's the guy. He's resourceful, you know, uh, ambitious, self-motivated, you know, where, uh, where it really fucking matters. And then he did this, and he's not in the least bit sorry. Or at least he doesn't appear to be sorry. Or um, maybe that's contrite, you know? I mean, he did say in that last episode he was gonna, you know, hey, fuck guilt, I'm just gonna try to move on with my life. Um, which makes me sad because, you know, Willow, there's, you know, this kind of hope and expectation that she will have learned from, you know, what she has done. Xander, not so much. No, it, it's just kind of more of a, well, that sucked anyways, 
So, you know, maybe... Sorry, I just, like... We're supposed to be talking about our prediction for the episode, so maybe this is about that. Because really, it's the only thing that comes to mind where something needs to be fixed. Actually, let me take that back. There was something else. Faith. Um, the falling out Faith had with Buffy. It is possible that maybe that will get fixed. I God, I hope. I really hope that this wasn't the end of Faith. I hope Faith is able to come back and keep going. Alright, uh, let's keep going. Oh, um, I'm gonna apologize now for the sniffles you're gonna hear. I, like, just got over a terrible cold. I'm still, like, a little congested. I'm tr <laughs> gonna try to cut out as much of the sniffles as I can, but I'm not gonna be able to help it. Sorry. But yeah, let's, uh, let's get to it. Ah, another flashback in Dublin. Oh, so this is going to be an angel thing, for sure. Oh, Daniel, wherever are you going? You. Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. What do you want? Well, it happens that I'm hungry, Daniel, and seeing as that's your somewhat in me, Dad. <laughs> Normally, I... I love mustaches, but this is... an error. Daniel! You've good cheer. It's Christmas. Oh, also, yeah, wow, season three, and it's our first uh, winter holiday episode. If only we could have kept that going longer. Hi. Angel. Why does Buffy suddenly look 35? They're probably not shopping. I couldn't sleep. Vampires probably not that big on Christmas now that I think about it. Not as a rule. So I was wrong on both counts. This is about Angel making amends with his past, I guess. Wait, are we doing uh, a Christmas carol? Is that what we're doing? Right, yeah. What are you doing for Christmas? Being Jewish. Remember people? Not everybody worships Santa. I just meant for vacation. Mm, nothing fun. I love that we've got a, a Jewish main character. I love it. Annual Christmas Eve camp out. See, I take my sleeping bag outside and I go to sleep on the grass. Sounds fun. Yeah, I like to look at the stars, you know, feel the whole nature vibe. I thought you slept outside to avoid your family's drunken Christmas fights. Yes, and that was a confidence I was hoping you would share with everyone. Well, I'll be in Aspen. Okay, if that was true, that's actually not cool for Cordy to share that. Yeah, she certainly has reverted to form. It's not. Oh gosh! So we are so we're fully back at square one with our friendship with Cordy. The spirit. Hello, still Jewish. Hanukkah spirit, I believe that was. Hey Oz. Hey. Okay. The thing is. But it's let him let him get through it, honey. Well, I don't know. I don't know that. It ever will be between you two. Oz, please believe me. This is what I do know. I miss you. Like every second. So I think I'd be willing to give it a shot. So I I was wrong and it's and it's his prerogative to handle this however he wants to. So if he feels he can trust her despite what happened, it's, I mean, that's his choice. To hug now? Yeah, I'm good for that. I like that she asked. I like that she asked that. Oh yeah, because they're in California. <laughs> Snow on it. Be very Christmassy. I think those are just for display. No. You know, honey, I was thinking, maybe we should invite Faith to spend Christmas Eve. Oh, she's so sweet. Do you really want to let her spend Christmas Eve all by herself in that dingy little motel room? You're still... Hell, ask her to move in, man. I'll ask her. What about Giles? I mean, he doesn't have a... No, I'm sure he's fine. Hey! <laughs> he doesn't want to spend Christmas Eve with a bunch of girls. 
Let's split up. He fucked, yeah? Like, they totally fucked. Bunch of them up and died on us. Oh, I didn't even think to ponder what our monster of the day will be. No, thank you. Oh, honey, this one's perfect. <laughs> okay. So this means someone is actively seeking retribution. God bless us. Damn it. We're having Christmas Eve dinner at my house, and I thought that um, if you didn't have plans... Your mom sent you down, huh? No. Well, thanks, but I got plans. There's this big party I've been invited to. It should be a blast. I like the lights. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually very cute, that despite everything, she wanted to, you know, bring some joy into the room. Oh. Sorry to bother you. <laughs> sorry. sorry, coming from you, that phrase strikes me as rather funny. Sorry to bother me. I need your help. And the funny keeps on coming. I understand I have no right to ask for it. But there's no one else. I, I can't come in unless you invite me. I'm aware of that. Come in. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I should be in a demon dimension suffering an eternity of torture. I don't feel particularly inclined to argue with that. I'm not. I was freed, and I don't understand why. Knowing why you were back would give you peace of mind? It might. Do you think that's something you ought to have? Because, sir, uh, to be blunt, the last time... Whoa, that was like a splash of cold water. Holy fuck. Oh god, she's even wearing the clothes she wore when when it happened. Don't you see? So the question is, like, what is the motivation behind this? Is it is it retribution, you know, or revenge, or is it atonement? There's no hurry. The mistress will be wondering. Shh, the mistress will be wondering how to get the good Reverend Chalmers into bed. And will not notice the absence of canopy. Stay with me. Sir, people might talk. Bring me. Ah, cry out. Call for help. I'm sure Mistress will believe your behavior beyond reproach. Please. Come make a scene, huh? Shall I? God, he really was so fucking evil. Oh, she saw it. She was there. What do you want? I want to die in bed surrounded by fat grandchildren, but I guess that's off the menu. I'm sorry. You're sorry. For me? Don't bother. I'm dead. I'm over it. I wonder, is this like... <laughs> actually the spirits talking to him or just pure manifestations saying what their conjurer wants them to say couldn't possibly know about it was angel's past he was dreaming it and somehow i got sucked in There's dumb comment i am not liking this haircut so we'll help him yes where do we start Look, I'm aware I haven't been the most as best friend to you when it comes to the whole angel thing. And, um, I don't know, maybe I finally got the Hanukkah spirit. Okay, yeah, sure. Surprisingly, with research. Yeah, this is actually the most exciting thing I've got planned. Who else can claim that pathetic a social life? bad is it at home? Like, do we actually get more of a look? I just don't know how to make us trust me. Xander has a piece of you that Oz just can't touch. 
I guess now it's just about showing Oz that he comes first. That's that's a good start, yeah. In the dark, they looked just like they were sleeping. It wasn't until I bent down and kissed them goodnight that I felt how cold they were. You grabbed me and I thought, who would go to so much trouble to arrange them like that? See? That's what makes you different than other beasts. They kill to feed. But you took more kinds of pleasure in it than any creature that walks or crawls. I mean, isn't a man. I was a man once. Oh, yes. And what a man you were. <laughs> Drunken, whoring layabout, and a terrible disappointment to your parents. I was young. Never had a chance to. To die of syphilis. Like, I feel for the guy, but he also needs to hear this. <laughs> Cruelty is the only thing you ever had a true talent for. That's not true. Shh. Rest. I mean, he went through hundreds of years of torture, so maybe he heard it already. But I guess it didn't stick if it's getting to him now. You mistake it for a curse, Angel, but it's not. So it's gonna be one of those dreams. I wonder, does it count if it's in a dream? So, like, new questions. Why Why is Buffy being dragged into this? Hey, girl. <laughs> Take what you want. Pour all that frustration and all that guilt into her and you'll be free. No. Okay, now I feel we're getting new information. Or this is why we brought you back. Take her. And then you'll be ready. <laughs> to kill her. Wait, what? So it wasn't a stroke of fate or destiny or the power of true love that brought him back? It it was whatever this weird cult is? Okay, very interesting. I, I didn't, I wasn't expecting that. So what, so what was their motivate? Like, why, why try to kill Buffy? Like, is it, is it a Slayer thing? Like, hey, we're trying to get her before she gets us kind of thing? And if so, like, why go through the trouble of bringing Angel back? Like, why not just, you know, just go do it your damn selves? Oh, there's the first. First what? Evil. Absolute evil. Older than man, than demons. It could have had the power to bring Angel back. That's a familiar concept. I saw them in my dream. I, I fell asleep up there. You had another dream? With Angel? What happened? Oh, we don't need to get sidetracked. You, you, you can't fight the first, Buffy. It's not a physical being. Well, I, I can fight these priest guys. If we can find them. Oh my god, you're still around? Bring the uh, slayer down here. Hey, Willie. How you been? The double shot of, um... Of information, pal. Underage, you dipshit. Call themselves the, the bringers. Bringers. Harbingers. They have a no eyes kind of look. I didn't ring a bell. How about I ring that bell for you? Does the threatening come now? Maybe you shouldn't help. They would have come to town recently. Uh, God bless him, he's trying. Apparently, there's been a lot of migration out of Sunnydale from the lower inhabitants. Something's scaring them off. And these are things that are not easily scared. Could be your priest guys are underground. Underground where? I do not know. You did great, by the way. I was very intimidated by you. <laughs> really? <laughs> Thanks. Let's go. Is it hot? It was so nice and cool in there. <sighs> yeah, a nice, cool waste of time. We know underground. That's a start. Sure. A town with 14 million square miles of sewer. Plus a lot of natural cave formations and a gateway to hell. Yeah, this does resemble square one. I got videos. Hi. Why don't you
Willow, what are you doing? Honey, what are you doing? Too much of anything. Baby girl, no, 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 no. But you ever have that dream? I don't know. Where you're in a play and it's the middle of the play and you really don't know your lines love. and you kind of don't know the plot. Well, you know, we're alone and we're both mature, younger people. And, and so we could, I, I'm ready to, with you, we could do that thing. I, I'm getting this inkling that maybe you're not ready to do this. Uh, okay, well, don't take this the wrong way. But I'm not. Very good, very good. I thought you would. You know I have. But this is different. I mean, you look great. You know, and, and you got the berry working for you. And, and it's all... Good, but when it happens, I want it to be because we both need it to for the same reason. Yeah, he's just so sweet. I just wanted you to know. I know. Nothing like a roaring fire to keep away the blistering heat. Oh, come on, it's lovely. Maybe I should turn the air conditioning on. So, Angel's on top again? What? Angel or star? Oh my god! <laughs> you know what has... Is that relevant? The fact that it's like so hot? Because I've been chalking it up to it being California. Hey. Hi. Uh, it looks like that whole party thing was going to be kind of a drag. I don't really have anything... You know... Uh, that one is for your mom. They're pretty crappy. Faith, you made it. Oh, that is so thoughtful. They're crappy. You know, I'm gonna go upstairs and get your gifts. Excuse me. Uh, would you like some nog? Hello. This is why you need to stop inviting vampires into your house. Look, I, uh, I had to see you. Um... <laughs> I don't know, I... You shouldn't be. Just tell me what's going on. She wants you to touch her. What are you waiting for? You have to stay away from me. You came to see me to tell me that I can't see you. Yeah, I was about to say, dude, you're the one that showed up. How can I help you? Leave me alone! I just need you to stay with mom in case he comes back. Yeah, I'll play watchdog. I don't really get it, though. I'll explain later. Everything, I promise. I'll never hurt her. You were born to hurt her. Have you learned nothing? As long as you are alive. And I'll die. You don't have the strength to kill yourself. I don't need strength. I just need the sun to rise. It's true, I'm afraid. Um, for they are the harbingers of death. Nothing shall grow above or below them. No seed shall flower, neither in man nor... Uh... Which we saw at the, uh, the Christmas tree farm. The harbingers of death. Which is where they are. They're at the tree farm, aren't they? Or below. Tree farm! <laughs> I would have never guessed in a million years that that was gonna work. Are they playing uh, Vampire the Masquerade? Ten more minutes of chanting, and then you guys have to go to bed. I'm not a demon, little girl. I am something that you can't even conceive. The first evil. Beyond sin. Beyond death. I am the thing that darkness fears. You'll never see me, but I am everywhere. Yeah, but I'm sure, like, every major world-ending evil she's faced so far, she'll be done with you by the end of this episode. Edit, you're evil. Do we have to chat about it all day? I have no idea what you're dealing with. Let me guess. Is it evil? Dead by sunrise! I 
bet half the kids down there are already awake. Lying in their beds. Sneaking downstairs. I need you to get inside. There's only a few minutes left. I know. I can smell the sunrise long before it comes. I don't have time to explain this. You just have to trust me. That thing that was haunting you. It wasn't haunting me. It was showing me. I wanted to know why I was back. Now I do. You don't know. Some great evil takes credit for bringing you back, and you buy it? It told me to lose my soul in you and become a monster again. I know what it told you. What does it matter? Because I wanted to. Because I want you so badly. God, it's a real shame that I don't ship them. Because <laughs> this is gold. Everybody is. Angel, you have the power to do real good, to make amends. But if you die now, then all that you ever were was a monster. <laughs> Am I a thing worth saving, huh? Am I a righteous man? The world wants me gone. What about me? I love you so much. And I hate it. I hate that it's so hard. And that you can hurt me so much. God, SMG is killing it. Jesus. I know everything that you did because you did it to me. Let me be strong. Strong is fighting. It's hard. And it's painful. And it's every day. It's what we have to do. And we can do it together. But do not expect me to watch. Is it snowing? You because this despite everything it's snowing. Oh no Xander Oh no <laughs> He's like, wait a minute. And while most of Southern California is enjoying a balmy Christmas, an extreme cold front has sprung up out of nowhere around Sunnydale, where they are reporting heavy snowfall for the first time in, well, ever. Sunnydale residents shouldn't expect to see the sun at all today. That cold front isn't going anywhere. Okay, so we uh, we didn't defeat the first evil in this episode. In fact, it almost <laughs> because of the way it just suddenly like shifted in tone. It's like it's like I forgot about it. So it's just suddenly it was like so. Anyways, snow. If the first evil like is this actually gonna continue to be a problem, or will this like be like one of those forgotten monsters that like never sees like you know that never sees the uh, promised comeback like the like the praying mantis lady i guess time will tell so it was an interesting episode poignant uh, not not one of my favorites um like i feel for angel in, in a lot of ways you know um people have tried to explain to me that angel with a soul is different from you know angelus you know who doesn't have a soul and listen i get it i do i promise i do that, you know, that the vampires of this universe are essentially demons, you know, soulless, without morals, without, you know, um, any of the desires that make us human. Totally get that. Don't care. <laughs> Hopefully Angel will be able to make some sort of peace with the things he did in the past. And I, I don't know, like, does this, does this mean that he and Buffy are like, back together or you know or we are they still trying the whole let's just be friends thing i miss spike if you like that video and you would like to 
see more and help this channel grow, there are several ways you can do that. First is absolutely uh, my Patreon, just a dollar a month, and your name gets put here as a uh, very, uh, you know, grateful shout out. Thank you to everyone that, you know, uh, contributes here. You guys help give me the motivation to keep going. And aside from my Patreon, there is also my merch store, all of it featuring art done by me, my coffee, and my throne wish list. Any contribution helps. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.